Thursday, the 16th of April, 2009. This is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. The uh, market had a nice day here today for the bulls. The uh, NASDAQ finished with an 84 cent gain or 2.5%. We saw a little bit heavier volume in here today. And we continue to see that this pattern of higher highs and higher lows, as extended as this market is getting, this pattern continues to unfold, uh, clearly putting a lot of pressure on the short sellers. And it felt a little bit desperate in there today in terms of the uh, the magnitude of the rally and the fact that it's uh uh, squeezing the short so hard. If we take a look at this 10 minute time frame, you see that we initially jumped above that rising five day moving average, pulled back in here and tested it, and then basically took, uh, you know, consolidated a little bit and took off to the races late in the afternoon. If you look at the average uh, price that the market traded at intraday, again, it had gapped higher, kind of consolidated in this little range, broke below the daily VWAP, shook some people out below there, and then the buyers took control and maintained control for the entire session if we look at the uh, average price since this rally began it's now at about thirty dollars and fifty six cents we had seen a, uh, a what I thought was a pretty close call yesterday towards a, uh, a bigger breakdown as, as this market was uh, taking you know undercut this uh, prior little level of resistance we had this little pattern of lower highs and lower lows but again you got to be very quick in this market and it's not always the good news that turns it around it was actually the uh, commercial real estate bad news in there uh, got the short to cover we'll take a look at that shortly um, but the uh, but the Nasdaq does continue to, to grind higher it's uh, you know perhaps again setting up for uh, further upside up towards the uh, election high that we see had seen back here obviously in, in uh, November and um, uh, we've also got this uh, declining 200 day moving average that the market might be magnetized towards the path of least resistance continues to be higher short sellers are, are you know, probably have good fundamental reasons for a lot of their positions but you just can't fight this type of momentum and that's you know that's basically the bottom line in here when you have a rising 5 10 20 50 day moving average you're, you're fighting the the trend of, of the uh, of the uh, money that's flowing in um, uh, the Russell 2000 had uh, gotten up to this level that we've been focusing on as far as potential uh, level of resistance. We had seen that uh, this pattern of higher highs and higher lows continues in here as well. And today we had another higher high. We're not we're not up for the year still in in the uh, Russell 2000, but there's been some just incredible movement. Continues to be a trader's environment, whether you're a day trader or intraday trader, or, uh, or multiple day trader as well. What I meant to say swing trader rather um, there's just tremendous opportunities and when you get these double and triple funds there's uh, there's a lot of times that it, it, it um it just doesn't make sense to be taking the overnight risk when you can uh, absorb the risk intraday when you have liquidity, basically. That's uh, that's the way I look at it. The Russell, though, uh, here we see, again, that higher high. We're, we, we're, we're dipping below this five-day moving average quite a few times, but as long as this five-day moving average is rallying and we don't have a pattern of lower highs and lower lows like we had the potential to see over here, then you still have to give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers, the average price since since the rally began, it continues to creep higher. It's now at 42 and a half. Uh, important level of support that we had noticed yesterday was at about that 45 level, and continues to be a uh, will continue to be. Uh, but now it's it's we're two and a half points away from there. So I think we want to focus on uh, basically 46 and a half as far as a uh, level that this market could pull back down towards, and that might be where we meet this uh, five-day moving average that's rising as well. Um, the financials, uh, the financials Financials didn't have as big a day as these other markets, but uh, they've been the the leaders lately, and there's there's nothing. Uh to, to be concerned about in the short term. It looks as though we're just uh, consolidating under this prior level of support and uh, that has the potential to uh, you know right now we're finding a little bit of resistance there but we do again have a rising 5, 10, 20, 50 uh, and, two, uh, and 50 day moving average. The 200 day moving average of course is still declining so um, we still have to cast an eye of suspicion on this whole move but as far as trades go and you know the, the one to two-day trades, 
uh, even the the path of least resistance continues to be higher yesterday it was seen that the market found support along that rising five-day moving average 975 is obviously the important level where this market broke out from we also have this ten dollar area and I think that now you want to look at uh, may, maybe the uh, this this little 1050 area as well um, the next area it needs to get above as far as resistance to clear is about that eleven dollars and thirty cent level this whole market remains very uh, extended but uh, the, it's not unprecedented to have these types of moves even within a primary uh, uh, bear market in in uh, you know we had seen a 39 percent move uh, back in um, uh, 30, 1931 and and then the market you know dropped another 50 percent from there so these rallies these large rallies don't mean the bear market's over but they sure can make it uncomfortable for short sellers uh, you know I focused yesterday a little bit on this IYR saying that it's really a bullish pattern in here and there's a lot of very smart people and, and who, whose opinions I respect as far as the uh, the overall uh, you know health of this group goes but it's it's you know fundamentally that is but as long as price is rising in here we've got a rising 5 10 20 50 day moving average you don't want to fight this type of momentum if we look uh, here at the uh, 30 minute time frame we had pointed to these higher lows and higher highs in here and uh, looked at, at this uh, you know breaking past this resistance yesterday we had seen that this little level of resistance did act as support we saw one of the big um, com again I don't know if it's a component uh, but a big play uh, in the, you know, that's GGP declare bankruptcy today and uh, early on I had warned in Twitter that basically you know trade the reaction not the headline because the market doesn't care about my interpretation of a bankruptcy it, it's obviously negative for the group but we had a huge rally unfold in here uh, I had mentioned that it looks like the next potential level of resistance was up near uh, $33 a share we got up there tagged that level these markets are really just becoming uh, very very uh, you know volatile for in the, the, the bottom line is they're they're short-term traders markets as far as I'm concerned and, and I, I repeat myself often by saying that but when the market starts moving like this you just can't fight that type of momentum so I think that uh, they got a little overcooked here today so I think they probably need to settle in um, and finally let's take a look at the SPY the, the, the S&P 500 was up a dollar 25 today this market did make a new high for the move um, so the only, only the financials failed to basically confirm the strength uh, elsewhere we're still below this level here uh, that we've been focused on as a potential level of resistance we're seeing that uh, we saw a little bit more volume in here again today um, but really we're we're really far stretched here this rubber band is stretched in and we could still see a, uh, a significant pullback at any point here yesterday I thought we were gonna see that uh, as this trend line was tested obviously we uh, um, well, here from from this point uh, obviously we bounced in that area we took out this level of resistance and that area right in here we took out late day yesterday now we're still above this rising five-day moving average 85 will continue to be important as will now 86 and as far as potential resistance goes right up in here there's just a lot of great movers out there if you're looking in the right place there's uh, there's tremendous opportunity in this market you just have to maintain uh, risk uh, risk management.